Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Osa Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who might like it too. As always, underneath this video, there is everything you possibly may want to know. There's the link to this deck. Uh, there is my email. There is my social media. There's my Amazon wish list. There's the link to become a patron. Everything you might need or want to know about me or anything else is more than likely underneath this video. So I wanted to pull these. I love this deck. You guys know that those of you who are around, you saw me unbox this deck and do a pick a card earlier this week. Actually, it was, I think it was Friday. So today I want to do another one <laughs> just because I like the deck. I just wanted to do another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, the interpretations. So first pick your card. Which one? One, two, or three is calling you. After you tell me which card is yours, uh, or you pick <laughs> which card is yours, I'm going to give you the interpretation, okay? Let's do number one. If you pick the first card, you pick the beautiful goddess, Queen Nefertiti, alchemy. All right, so she's number 38. Let's find 38, and I'll tell you what it means if you pick this card. If you pick this card, first of all, uh, Queen Nefertiti is um, in the temple of the queens. So all of these uh, beautiful goddesses are broken up into different groupings, and she's in the queen's grouping. Uh, she is a real goddess, a real queen from history, a pharaohess from history. And it says here that Nefertiti was a legendary Egyptian queen whose name means a beauty has come. That's beautiful. Celebrated as a goddess and her husband's equal, Queen Nefertiti led a spiritual revolution, worshiping Aten, the sun god. Queen Nefertiti's guidance. It is time. You turn everything that life throws your way into gold, and you are on the path to fulfilling your purpose. You are an alchemist. You have the power to bend uh, universal energy. Dare to transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some form of loving energy. Match this frequency. See it in your mind's eye first. Imagine it. I am loved fully. What does it look like, taste like, smell like to be loved unconditionally? I am happy and healthy. See it. I am a money magnet. What does it feel like? Declaration. Everything I touch turns to gold. So if you got this card, you are a manifester. You can basically manifest whatever you want to manifest in your life. The only thing that can hold you back is yourself. So it's definitely time for you to tap into that. That is magnificent. And today is the full moon when I'm recording this. So... Hopefully you're utilizing the power of manifestation or, of course, the law of attraction. Number two. All right, so let's get this in there. If you pick number two, I'm sorry, it's glaring in your face if you pick number two. There you are, Gang Gang Sarah. I think I said that right. It's either Gang Gang or Gong Gong Sarah, I don't know who this is. We're going to find out together. Resistance, and her, her page is page 22. All right, let's find out who she is. Uh, she's from Tobago, okay? She's from the Shadows, okay? That's her grouping is of the Shadows. And she's from the element of Bush, okay? Shadow goddess Gang Gang Sarah, the witch of Golden Lane, blew into Tobago on a determined breeze from West Africa, to emancipate her family. So I got to Google her and read more about her. Her card is beautiful and she sounds like a real, she, she sounds like she bowed it. I want to know more. All right, her guidance. You are scared that you are going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. 
Learn to show up for yourself. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Wow. That's a powerful statement. Stop holding back, worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks growth, creativity, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation, but there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force you really are. Here's your affirmation. This is me. I show up. So you're resisting your own manifestation. You're resisting your own magic. You're resisting your own greatness. So I'm not sure what this resistance looks like for you. They gave some possibilities, but whatever the case is, you got to stop doing that because there's so much here for you if you would just tap into it. Stop sabotaging yourself. And the last one is three. Let's see three. So if you pick three, uh, Abonimba, I think is her name. We're going to learn about her together too. I saw her, but I don't know who she is. So what page is she on? 43, close to the end of the book. And she is from Baga. Guinea. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. From Guinea. Okay. And it says here, she is with the high priestesses. She is the element of water. And it says, Abo is a Baga fertility goddess and Nimba is her living spiritual healing mask. Oh, so she's the goddess and the mask is alive too. Okay. Together, they embody the sacred feminine and abundance. Oh, I like abundance. This is my card then. I like this one. Give thanks. You are being blessed. It is harvest time. Pray attention. I think they did that on purpose. Pray attention. A season of great harvest is a season of great epiphanies. You are prospering. Harvest is when you reap the blessings that you have sown. The harvest is not just the fulfillment of your dreams, but the creation of them. Your thoughts, your imagination, the blessing of you being here another day on this earth. That is all harvest. What seeds of generosity, love, support, and goodwill can you sow on your community to create a bountiful harvest for all? And here's your affirmation. We are always prospering. I claim this one. I like this one. I didn't pick a card before we got started. So I'm claiming this one because this one feels like what's going on in my life and what I want for my life. So I'm going to use this. We are always prospering. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end. We have looked at all of them and my camera is ready to die. <laughs> so it's time for us to get going. You come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.